All right, guys, how are we doing today? Steve Mingle Co. Final Web Design. I want to go over different coding salaries, different programming, different software development, different uh, front end, back end, full stack. I want to go over all these different salaries because there's a lot of different positions out there, a lot of different ways to get there. Um, obviously, you have the university route, computer science major, where you learn. Um, you learn a lot. I mean, you're going to learn Java. You're going to learn some pretty difficult languages, and they really start you off that way. There's the coding boot camps, which uh, you pay, you know, a couple thousand dollars, and they push you through. You know, five, ten thousand, and they push you through in like three months' time. Uh, but it's very hard to learn all the information that you're going to need over the course of a boot camp. And then there's the free learners, the people who do it all themselves and get out there. They find YouTube videos. They find uh, different ways to learn, practice. So what are we looking at for an overall coding salary? When I say coding, I'm not just talking HTML, CSS, if you even consider those programming languages. I'm talking more the JavaScript frameworks, um, the backend developers, the PHP, the Java, uh, things like that. And now each, within each of these languages, you're going to find that there's different salaries that uh, really revolve around there. So. You can really say that you're never going to find anything less than 50000 for a full-time position, which is a pretty good salary if you consider that's just the starting base. And then you really won't find anything really over 150000 even for more of the senior work uh, with some of the bigger companies like Facebook and YouTube. I mean, if you're a really senior senior, you can get up there a little bit more, but that's a pretty good um, number to look at. So here I'm just looking at a software developer, and basically this is going to be anybody who's doing any kind of front end or back end development, a lot of it's going to be internet software applications, we're looking at about $100,000 a year. And that number is not unrealistic. It is very easy to get into one of these positions and find a six figure income, especially with some of the bigger companies, uh, the Fortune 500, the medical, the universities, all the different uh, companies that work with software, especially these days as, as things have gotten more and more remote, more and more online, you're going to find that these positions continue to grow as far as uh, salary ranges. So if you're just looking for coding salaries, you're looking about $100,000 a year. So why don't we go and look at what a front end developer is making. So front end is basically anything on the, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, anything that the UI, UX people interact with. And you'll see here you're looking about seventy-seven thousand dollars a year. Again, nothing really under fifty, nothing really over one hundred and fifty. So if you're going to do front end, which I think front end has got much, much more complicated than people are giving it credit for. These things like the uh, JavaScript frameworks, the Reacts, the Angulars, the Views, these have got increasingly difficult to learn, and the front end becomes so much more engaging with all these bells and whistles and schedules and logins and payment gateways and user subscriptions and all these features that people are adding to websites these days that have really made front-end development much more difficult than it used to be even uh, you know five ten years ago so looking at our front end we're about seventy seven thousand if you're going into back-end salaries you're gonna find that the pays are even a little bit higher and I think that that's even changing a little bit um, because back end is, is pretty standard back end at this stage, whether you're doing WordPress with like PHP or applications with like Node.js or um, again Java and stuff like that, you're going to find that back end usually pays a little bit more just because it has that tendency, at least historically, to be a little more difficult. You can't really see what you're working with as much. Uh, it doesn't have that visual aesthetics to it. It's all being done with databases. And things like that in the back end. So you're going to find the salaries are a little bit higher, about twenty thousand higher. Um, again, in that range of fifty to one hundred and fifty, you won't really see anything higher or lower. But about a hundred thousand dollars a year. Then why don't we take a look at full stack? So full stack is doing the front end. Full stack is also doing the back end. And as you can see here, the average salaries are looking around one hundred and six thousand. So about the same as back end because a lot of back end developers will do somewhat front end as well. Uh, whereas a lot of front-end developers don't really do a lot of back-end. So you're looking about one hundred and five, one hundred and six thousand dollars a year, which is actually a very good salary if you consider, um, you know, the time that, you know, the flexibility of the job and things like that. However, 
it is a long learning curve. You're never going to get all this information out of one boot camp or one project. It really is an ongoing learning experience, and that's why the salaries for these positions have gotten so high. Now, if you want to be more of the basic CMS type developer, something like WordPress you're going to find is more around the $60,000 range or about $25, $35 an hour. Um, and actually, this is a really good salary too. I mean, WordPress, if you really know WordPress, unless you're creating custom uh, plugins and modules and extensions and, and updating the theme and stuff like that, WordPress is very great because all you have to do is kind of go in and move the pieces and uh, you know plug in different plugins and, and apply them to the site itself. So you're really doing a lot of front end and back end. However, you're not actually coding. You're more working with the CMS platforms, whether it's WordPress, Joomla, um, Drupal, you know, a lot of these different uh, CMS platforms that are out there. So this video just really wanted to go over kind of what the different salary ranges are for some of these positions right now, what we're looking at as far as getting into coding and where you can be when you get out. And again, you don't need to go to university, you don't need to do a boot camp, you can learn all this material on yourself. Get out there and get a, a position where you can be learning 9 to 5 during the day. That really will help uh, increase your skills and your knowledge and your training. But with that being said, guys, if you have any questions about different programming salaries and where the kind of industry is going over the next year, um, or you have any comments, leave them. Also, a like, a subscribe, that stuff helps. And with that said, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.